<laughs> what is up you guys it is Matty bringing you another episode in our Road to Master series and this I believe is episode 8 so let's see what's going on excellent I haven't firstly I haven't been raided which is always a good thing secondly I've got uh, my Barb King back so that's excellent news I can use him on every raid now so uh, thirdly I've cooked a nice big fat army for us again another hog army um, and I've got some replays to go through as well so we'll do that I'm at 1760 trophies so almost at gold one which is great because that means it'll set me up for to get to crystal tomorrow and then once we're in crystal it's the uh, the big push that's when it gets a bit more tricky because uh, it's still pretty easy now if I'm honest it's uh, not that challenging if we have a look I haven't had any more defensive replays because I've been staying online I had quite a few attacks though so uh, let's just go through these um, one by one that bottom one I think is uh, uh, we'll just show it anyway just more barbs and archers to be honest um, in this raid the town hall was obviously quite easy so I chucked my troops up there to, here to take that out I also noticed that, that elixir was uh, pretty accessible and I thought anything can help at the moment so let's just take that out chuck in some barbs and archers take it out realize that my troops didn't end up taking out the town hall, I think they got killed by the archer queen. So, I was uh, sort of half concentrating, then I went back in and was like, oh, okay, I'll throw some more archers in and finish the job. <laughs> so again, easy few trophies, classic snipe, people, I'm not going to turn down those free trophies when those, those sort of raid, raids come along. Um, let's go again for, oh, attack log. Let's go for this one where we got some dark elixir. So how did I do it? It was a case of taking out the town hall first, taking out that barb king and the archer. Sorry, taking out the barb king and clearing a pathway into the town hall. So once the barb king's down, sprinkle the barbs and archers around to uh, clear that pathway in. Then they'll push forward and take out the uh, the town hall because I've taken out the drills already or one of the drills the second one's about to go down the second I took some more barbs at it and then finally double lightning on the storage to uh, to drop its health and that was it that was that quick easy 600 dark which is always useful helps fund these hog raids so I'm able to bring you more exciting gameplay Um okay that was that one and the last raid I did was a couple of minutes ago, yeah, 35 minutes ago, so if we click replay. I, mean, I think I only had half an army here, uh, but again, town hall was accessible, and there was some dark elixir available, and what I noticed was that that dark elixir drill had a bit of dark elixir in at the bottom. Um, and I think that's a higher level drill than that one, because it's that, um, I think it is. And I, I only had half an army anyway, so I was only going to go for one. So I thought I'd go for this bottom one. Cleared out a oh, speed up as well. Again, dropped drop some troops to clear out a pathway into it. Barb King was in the way, so I had to take him out. Dropped him on wall breakers, one of them died though. Eventually, we cleared a path in. Um, the giant. The giants that are in my clan castle went in as well. I thought they were going to do the job, but they got destroyed. So we had to send in our big dog, the Barb King, a couple of hits, and quit straight away so he didn't do it, take any more damage so we could use him now. And yeah, that's it. Easy raids, easy easy money. What we're going to go for now, though, obviously, is a, a hog raid. Um, well, a collection of raids that I'm going to throw together for you. So, starting with our current hog raid, let's see how we go. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this guy. Um, decent amount of trophies, not much loot, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for a bit more than that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for it. So... First things first, the Barb King. I can't see an Archer Queen either, so we need to check the Barb King and the Clan Castle. So I'm going to drop a, 
a hog in this side. Hopefully that's going to get close enough to the clan castle to draw out any troops that might be in there. Doesn't appear that there is any. Uh, got a glory out the Barb King though. So I'm going to bring him down to the slab over here out of the way of the defences and do that. Now I want the Dark Elixir. So I'll show you how I'm going to make sure I get that in a minute. But for the time being let's take out this Barb King who uh, is in the way. Now I can, you can see that there's going to be hidden Teslas there. Um, they don't really bother me. So, but what I'm going to do is just drop in all my hogs. I, firstly, I check for any bombs because they can be a bit of a pain if they're on the outside. As you can see, they could have hurt my hogs. So now I'm dropping in both sets of hogs, getting my heal spell ready. Drop where the hogs are going to move to for the heal spells. Now what what I'm hoping they're going to do is clear a pathway into those. Ooh, hold on clear pathway into the middle and I'm going to drop one more heal spell in the middle as well because the expos have a lot of health. Once the path, we've got the pathway into the middle we can start dropping some troops down here as well, dropping some more breakers, clan castle, um, barb king as well, get him to break, start breaking through the wall, dropping some more wizards. So we're essentially going to do a big attack from the bottom over here. Now, I think we're actually going to get 100% on this because this guy had qu quite weak defences. Shit, we are as well. That's awesome. I don't, I, I don't think I'll bother dropping those other wizards unless I think uh, we're not going to get the 100%. It's no point in wasting troops. Here goes the Dark Elixir. So that's pretty much paid for that army, so that's brilliant. Can't, can't ask more than that. Well, you can, but can't be greedy. Town Hall is about to go. Our Barb King has got full health as well, so we don't need to worry about him. Um, oh, the minion's gone. There he goes. So 80%. Let's look what's left. So we've got some army camps up here. Um, is there anything left down the bottom? No. Hogs are still helping out. I'm quite comfortable that within 46 seconds we're going to take all, all those buildings. So I'm, not, I'm still not going to drop any more troops. In fact, I'll select a different unit just in case so I don't accidentally do it. Because the hogs can jump the walls, they don't need to worry about getting through. But there's so many wizards there as well. They're, they're just going to absolutely blast through the wall as well. Wow, that's slightly overkill. <laughs> awesome though. I didn't expect to get 100% that easily. But uh, we did. Good old hogs. Next raid. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Google the show. So <laughs> Google the show. That's what I'm doing. Right. Are you writing down on the list? Shut up, I'm doing a raid. <laughs> I'm going for this guy. Give me your clan castle troops! In Gadnan, where's his Barb King? It's dead. This is it. The almighty God, giant pecker. No, it's just let's just get let's just get the people. Oh that hurt. Let's go. Get them peckers in. In fact, let's just get everything in and rage it up. Go! Uh, okay, I'm literally just going to spawn this type of base. I think the best thing to do is just spawn everything in. Get our bad boys going. Let's get our king in there as well. Give him some some to play with. Throw in all of our archers. We've got extra giants as well in the clan castle. As the king doing, he needs some rage clearly. Need a bit of a heal going on over here as well to heal our, our giants. Uh, we need to take a, a bit of a big push all the way up to the uh, all the way up to the town hall. There they go. Oh no, one giant went down. Our king's on the uh, town hall. We keep going, mid. And I'll help that giant, those giants there, with some wizard love. Oh, what else can we do? What else do we need to do? This is an absolute massacre. <laughs> wow, look at these buildings. So, might as well take these out since they're sat there waiting for me. Anything else? Good God. There's one more defence. Let's just say goodnight to that guy. Get off my pecker! Leave him alone!
giants are just ha having fun punching walls, and uh, and that's it. Dirty drop beers. We're gonna go back to base for one second. Because da, 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 gold one. Awesome. We're now on the trophy countdown to Crystal. Crystal's the next one. So what we're gonna do is recook an army and head back into the battlegrounds. Hey you guys, we're just going to finish up this episode now because um, it's. I had to go to sleep in the end last night. I was getting way too tired, way too quickly. Um, so I ended up crashing out. Uh, but I did carry on doing a couple more raids which I can show you on a replay and I've got a Barbs and Archers competition just to, to go through one today, this morning. I have got some nice raids to show you though because I did uh, the, the giant double healer strategy uh, mixing it in with some wizards etc. As you can see on the replay. So uh, first one, let's go. Let's see what we uh, how we did it. And what we did. Um, okay, so it's a Town Hall 9. As you can see, the air defense was there's only two of them and they were quite weak. That sort of helped me choose my target for this raid. I um, looks like I didn't lure the king, which was a bit silly. I don't know if I tried to lure the, uh, the clan castle either, but anyway, it looks like I just sent the giant. I was, I was really tired at this point, so I'm not surprised if I made some mistakes. Sent the giants in. I think I held back my. Um, my wall breakers so that I could send them in soon. I don't know if I drop them in now. Which would have been a great time to do it, but no. <laughs> I don't know what I did on this raid. Um as you can see I dropped some troops around the outside to clear off those buildings, which was fine. Um I don't think I really wanted to drop my uh my second healer yet. Um it looks like I Oh my god, I was, I, was, I was half asleep here, and now the Barb King's coming in, so I raged at the Giants to help speed them up. The Barb King's going to slowly take down all those Giants though, which uh, which isn't ideal really. So maybe I had, I think I had an opportunity here to drop some more troops in to go and, uh, well, here goes my King to go and get that King. <laughs> king fight! Good! Ha! My King's still alive somehow, he's dead now. L luckily, now that that air defence is down, I've got double healers going on. Um, I've got a lot of infantry units. Here come the wizards, if you look in the top. So they're able to k jump on in, and the clan castle troops. So we've got lots of infantry and a couple of healers, all enough to, um, to help take it out. The reason I... My biggest fail of this raid was not taking out that barb king or checking the clan castle, because if I'd have done that, my giants would have survived, and then these infantry would still be... Uh, it would have been an easier raid, let's just put it that way. Because now, those arch towers just clean up my uh, troops. I ran out of time and yeah, it was, uh, wasn't the most successful raid. But we still got two stars and some trophies. Um, also, by the way, we woke up to minus 18 trophies. So I'll, throw, I'll show you that uh, replay now. Um, yeah, so here's my base. I'm just going to four times speed it. Take out the town hall, which is the obvious first thing to do. Is he going to pick off outside buildings, or what's he going to do? Yeah, it looks like he's starting to pick off some outside buildings towards the top. And here he goes. I think that's his main push down in the bottom. Yeah, he's thrown in some giants, as you can see. And his king's in. I don't know if he's going to rage king yet. He's going to wait for the barbs to get there. There we go. Raging king and barbs. My, I did have a dragon in the clan castle, as you can see. They came out to try. He came out to try and help. Uh, where else are we? So they're starting to push in. Their king's down. Um, their giants are getting hit a lot. My level six Teslas are doing some good damage there. But we've also got some, ah, uh, here we go, look. He chucked in some units around to, just to clean up some extra buildings to get that 50%. So that's how he two-starred me and got tack 18 trophies off me. Otherwise, I'd have only lost nine and it wouldn't have been too bad. So some mofo take two-starring me at this level. Um, this raid was, I had a, the giant healer army ready and I was about to go in. 
And then I saw this face and I was like, oh, well, I can't just ignore that. So I might as well just take it out, rebuild the few troops that I used. Because <laughs> uh, it's it's free it's free trophies at the end of the day. Can't, can't, can't be ignored when you're trophy pushing. So I then did this raid a few minutes ago. Uh, hopefully I can commentate this one a bit better because it's fresh in my mind. Yeah, so... It's a town hall seven. That's enough. That's enough sort of things I need to uh, to go and do it. So I lord the uh, barbarian king. Then I dropped a single giant here, and that was because he would get really close to the wall and therefore lure out the clan castle. So they had some good troops in the clan castle: hog riders, level six archers, etc. So I needed to lure them out as well. So as my archers came down, I dropped some more barbs and archers straight onto them. The rest of them, to be honest. I was pretty confident they were going to do it at that point, take out all those troops. So I then looked and I wanted to attack him from the bottom because I, I was interested in the elixir, if I'm honest. Uh, so I, I wanted to make sure I got a path to elixir. So I dropped in all my giants and then all my wall breakers to hopefully break through. Some infantry to clear a path because at this stage I'm thinking I need to get my barbarian king in there uh, to help join the party. Um, but I need to. You need to clear a path for the king, so he'll just start running around the outside. Otherwise, but that elixir, st that dark elixir storage, was the perfect thing to lure the king inside. So I drop him in a minute, along with a healer to to go and heal those things. There he goes, king's inside, and that's exactly how I wanted it to go. Get that king in there. He can start hammering away at the troops. We've got a healer healing our giants nicely. We've got a, we have got a second air defence, which we need. We don't need to worry about right now. Uh, those giants are sort of getting hung up on that wall. Um, I think I use a rage spell soon, maybe after these two defences have gone down, to just to speed them up and get them through. So we've still got our dragon that's uh, about to go down because it's in the range of the air defence, and we're breaking through that wall there. Our king's taking a lot of damage as well. The giants got into the main compartment, which is going to take out the air defence, which is awesome because once that's down, you can see I dropped a rage there to help boost them through that wall because they're going to need it. But giants are slow anyway. Here comes the second healer in to heal my giants again. Because uh, now they're all air defences down. And that's a case of dropping the wizards on the outside to help um, take out those key defences that might be hurting my giants. So I was worried about the town hall at this point. Because I was like, okay, the giants have gone past. But So I, I decided to do a full on wizard push. So I dropped my remaining wizards right at the t in this top left corner. So that they could... Um, start pushing in towards the centre. The giant, All the defences are shooting the giants, so I should have a free reign to just do that. Now I've got that uh, cannons going down here. It was about at this point I noticed the ex extreme outside buildings to the far left and far right and realised I was never going to get 100%. It was just a timing thing. Um, there goes the last defence and yeah, if we had more time we would have easily 100%ed it, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. We, uh, I at this stage, he was running past. I was like, he's going to go for it. He's going to go. No, he stopped and turned. <laughs> and there goes that one. There goes that one. And then the last builder hut, it gets to stay there. So instead of 20 trophies, I take 13. Not ideal, but, you know, it happens sometimes. And now we're just going to go in for a barb and arch, just see what we get. Here we go guys, I'm going to punish this guy because he's got three or four <laughs> splash damage defences all in one place. So hopefully I can take out most of them. Uh, that didn't go as well as I hoped. <laughs> okay, we're going to... We're going to push him from the left anyway. Um, my screen has just stopped recording because it's ridiculous um, so we're going into a uh, a thingy now we're going to be in ugh, why can't I use my words <laughs> yeah we're going to be going into a replay now because my kit my thingy's dead my app stopped recording so now we're in a demo anyway so I've got barbs and archers it's not, it's not you know uh, an epic combo it, it's not like nothing more than um, a, a cheap army really but it can be effective when if it's used properly so when there's, when there's not much splash damage which we were able to take out a big portion of it it does very well so what I'm aiming to do now is clear up the rest of these outside buildings uh, at the top here 
because I need to break through. I've dropped all my frigging wall breakers and they all got spring trapped, which was not good. Um, these outside buildings are about to go, which is good as well. What I, what I do need to do now though is break through this wall, sort of in this area, to go for that wizard tower. Because once that wizard tower's down, it's going to save a lot of pain from us. And then we can go for the town hall. Um, I think there's only one. We'll go for that mortar as well now, actually. Hold on. Let's see if we can. I need those archers to shoot that wizard tower. Shoot the wizard tower. Yeah. Get him down. There, 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 there we go. Okay, now we're going to do a full on assault to that mortar up there. Uh, yep. I need that arch tower to go down, really, as well. Actually, fuck it, we need to... I haven't got many troops left, we need to... T is that town all going to go down? Hold on, I'm just taking a minute now to assess the situation. Uh, that town all is not going to go down as it stands. Okay, we need to go and get the town all. And we're running out of time, I didn't even think of that. Oh my god. <laughs> All these troops going in now. I'm hoping. Oh, 20 seconds is not long at all. These got. We've r completely ruined this raid, guys. They're all shooting at it, but it's uh, 10 seconds is not long enough to, to take out that town hall. Oh, oh it's going to be close. Oh, <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Wow. So yeah, um, that's it guys, that's it for this episode. It's been a, <laughs> an interesting one I suppose, yeah. it's. I can't believe I missed that town hall. That was an absolute fail on my part. Um, anyway, we're on our push to Crystal League, so hopefully we can get that sorted today and just get it done and dusted and out of the way. So thanks for watching again and look out for the next episode.